Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we're going to work on our chest and tricep muscles. Starting off with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. It's basically you rotate five times each side, creating some thoracic rotation. Now, after finishing the greatest stretch, we do deep squat, sit in a squatted position for at least a few seconds. If you can, you can do that at any point of the day, sit in a deep squat for multiple minutes and that's absolutely at your time space. You can also add a 5 minute cardio to get your heartbeat up. It's again not particularly required if warm up is good enough. But otherwise if you feel you need it, you can definitely do a 5 minute cardio. Nothing more than 5 minute is necessary. Now to start off with, we're going to start with 2 sets of warm up. On a flat bench, we're going to do a flat bench press. So when you're doing warm-up, take a weight which you which doesn't challenge you really hard. The rate of perceived exertion is maybe at around 4 to 6. And from there, you can do at least 10 to 15 repetitions. Get some blood flowing. Try to correct your form as much as possible. See if there is any kind of restrictions. Correct them. As you can see, I always keep my elbows as, you know, I don't bend them much at the lower position. Keep my elbows closer to the body, not flare them out beside my shoulders. Once done with the warm-up, we can start with our working sets, wherein we do two sets. 15 repetitions would be the first part of a set, and then we're going to drop the weight twice and get as many repetitions as possible in each and every drop. Now make sure you follow the same strict form routine while doing the working sets also. Control the weight during the eccentric motion. If possible, take a second or a fraction of a second pause at the lowermost position wherein you feel the stretch on your chest muscles and from there push it up with all your strength to get a good amount of contraction. Once done with a flat bench press, we move on to incline bench press and the same thing, two sets. 15 repetitions to start off with the set, uh, set and then go for two drops and do as many repetitions possible in each and every drop. Here you can see how exactly my posture is while I'm going into the deepest part of the stretch for my chest. How my elbows stay at 90 degrees, they don't bend much so that I don't involve my triceps much and get maximum adduction at the topmost part of the lift which I will show you shortly. But here, I'm pretty sure you can make it out that how my chest is adducting to get my hands closer together each other. Now, you can also notice there's a slight bit of shoulder activation, which is very common. You can't do much about it. During the motion, there will be shoulder activation. That's one of the reasons why I don't train my friend delts so much on my shoulder day because they get worked out during my chest days also. Not in a negative manner, but yes, they are involved during all my push movements so that's the reason I train them less during my shoulder days but otherwise yes we can get a lot of work done with our chest press. Post completing our chest exercises for the first couple of them at least we move on to a barbell tricep extension on the same incline bench so you don't need to move much just grab a barbell if that is not available you can also do this with a couple of dumbbells three sets 20 repetitions again control manner making sure the barbell remain remains behind your head your tricep is always in the stretched position with a break of 45 to 60 seconds in between a set you should be good to go and feel a great amount of blood rush or pump happening in your tricep muscles here you can see exactly how stretched out my triceps are and as i push the weight up how they contract in the stretched position don't bring the barbell above your head or in your eye line because then the strength curve goes to zero. There's not much of work for your tricep to do. As long as your arms stay behind you, your triceps are constantly being worked either in a stretched position or in a contracted position. I hope this bit of video or the close up of the video clearly shows you how my muscles are getting stretched out, how my triceps are connected down to my lat muscles, which is giving me a lot more activation i would should not use the word activation but at least a lot more you know connection mind muscle connection with my triceps 
Now, post completing the tricep work, we move on to a little bit more chest work wherein we go with machine flies. The cable crossover machine was occupied. So, nevertheless, we still have the machine fly which we can do. Similar range of motion. Yes, we can't get to the maximum adduction like I like, taking my arms across each other. But here and there, three sets, 20 repetitions, try to get maximum adduction. As you can see here, I try to push my chest together, get it as much squeezed as possible while not getting my shoulders in front. Yes, they would get still in front. There will be a lot of shoulder work happening, but still the focus is on our chest muscle to stretch it out. And from there, bring our arms together. Always remember the cue, which I keep telling in my previous videos. Also, I did multiple times. Try to touch your elbows. If you remember that cue, it's not possible. But if you remember that cue, you might get a maximum adduction out of every chest fly you do either on a cable or on a machine. If you try to get your elbows together, because that brings, tries, pushes your chest together with your bicep muscle. Now for our next bit of exercise, we are going to do rope pushdowns, single hand rope pushdowns, because I wanted to try this, see if, if there is any kind of variation, how different it feels. And it did really work out because it helped me get a little bit of more range of motion because I could push my elbows a little bit behind my midline of the body and you know then push the rope down to get maximum amount of contraction in my tricep muscles as you can see i was able to extend my elbow completely without any kind of restriction from the cable as i can move it freely one arm at a time and while doing this set three sets 20 repetitions i would suggest try to do it without taking a break at all just keep switching from one arm to the other 20 repetitions each arm if not 20 10, 10 repetitions, 15, 15 repetitions, whatever you're comfortable with. Just don't take a break and see how far you can go. After completing those, we move on to cable extensions for our tricep. So again, three sets, 20 repetitions without taking a break in between. Try to see how many repetitions you can pile on. If you're failing at 15 mark, switch your arm, get another 15. Again, switch your arm. If you're failing at 10, keep on doing that as long as you can get 60 repetitions out of each arm easy exercise to do nothing much complicated make sure you keep a weight which is challenging enough for you to get the high reps don't take a weight which you are not able to rep out because that is not the objective here we want high amount of volume done and that's it we are done with our exercise bit we are going to finish off with a simple static stretch lying on a bench pvc pipe in the hand take our arms behind our eye level behind our head as far as possible creating abduction and stay there for 15 to 20 seconds do it a couple of more times get the blood rush going you would definitely feel it stretch happening in your chest muscle and also a little bit of stretch happening in your tricep muscles so thank you so much for joining me i hope the video helped you with your workout today again and i hope you really like the workout if you did please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section, I would appreciate that. Please drop a comment and I would respond to it. Now make sure you finish off your workouts always with static stretching. You may, if you want to, also go ahead and do 10 to 15 minutes of cardio to just add on to the amount of work done. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.